My name is Alexander the Scallion. And there's a million things to use me in. I didn't know you could do so many things with scallions. Same. Also, why is it Alexander the Scallion and not Alexander Scallion? Five minutes. We have five minutes, everyone. Get ready. Go on to set. Thank you. I'm always hungry. And all this talk about scallions has me thinking about a fun scallion recipe I know. Before you ask, yes. Hi, I'm Max. And I'm Adelina. And today I'm going to show you this pajeon, or Korean scallion pancake recipe, from the complete cookbook for teen chefs. Available wherever you get your books. I love making this dish because it's a quick and simple recipe that delivers on a crispy texture and savory taste. I think I've seen these scallion pancakes at Chinese restaurants. You may have seen something similar, but this is actually a Korean recipe. It's like the Chinese American classic, but it's made and tastes totally different. And to give us a taste test at the end, we have our producer Ki Hub joining us. But first, he's going to tell us a bit more about Pajan. So Ki Hub, what do you know about Pajan? My mom would often make Pajan. Um, it was often like at least once a week, and we would just fry whatever was left in our fridge. So yeah. oftentimes you hear that people like to eat it when it's raining, John, which are kind of like different foods that are batter. The sound of it uh, frying in the pan sounds really similar to rain. So I have such fond memories of that. So I'm really excited to taste what you all are going to make, and we'll see if they rival the John that I grew up eating. Oh. Let's start with the dipping sauce. Here we have gochugaru, which is made out of ground up Korean peppers that have been sun dried without the seeds. In a small bowl, we're going to whisk together soy sauce, water, rice vinegar, sesame oil, gochugaru, and sugar. Adelina, if you could whisk that up for me. Sure, no problem. On to the pajeon. Wait, Max, we have to try this first. It looks too good. It's good. A little bit sweet too. A little bit sweet, it's salty. I think this is gonna be perfect for our paja. First, we trim off the root ends of the scallions and get rid of them. Then cut the dark green tops from the white and light green bottoms. Next, cut the white and light green bottoms in half lengthwise, or the long way. Cut all scallions crosswise, the short way, into two inch pieces. In a medium bowl, whisk together flour, potato starch, baking powder, baking soda, pepper, salt, and sugar. Add ice water and garlic and whisk until smooth. Gently stir in scallions until the mixture is evenly combined. We recommend using potato starch, which is available in Asian markets and some supermarkets, and creates the crispiest pancake. Why do we use ice water? Warmer water would hydrate the starches in the flour more than cold water would. And we don't want soggy pancakes, we want the crispiest, crispiest pod ever. 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 In a 10 inch nonstick skillet, heat two tablespoons of oil over medium high heat until it just begins to smoke. Scrape all of the batter into the center of the skillet. Spread it into an even circle covering the bottom of the skillet, then shake the skillet to make sure there's oil under the pancake. Cook until bubbles at the center of the pancake burst and leave holes in the surface and make sure the underside is golden brown. This will take three to five minutes. The oil should be gently sizzling as our pancake cooks. Like Kihup said, it should start to sound like rain. Flip the pancake and press firmly into the skillet to flatten. Drizzle one tablespoon of oil around the edges of the skillet. Continue to cook for two to four minutes, pressing the pancake occasionally to flatten until you see that second golden brown side. Transfer the pancake to a paper towel lined plate. After it drains and cools for five minutes, we'll cut this up and it's ready for serving. Finally! That was pretty quick though. Yeah, and they're customizable. Sometimes I make them with kimchi, sometimes baby greens. Let's taste them. <laughs> Can I see? Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. good. The sauce goes really well with the... It does. Because the, the pajan itself, when paired with the sauce, it's yes. good. Very well together. Now we have Key Hop over here for a taste test. I always go just with my hands, so I'm just gonna go straight in. I hope no one double dipped.
totally golden brown on the outside. All the edges are crispy. We still get a lot of that puffiness on the inside. I'm really tasting a lot of the, the cleanness from the scallions. It's really nice to add that savory. And then this sauce is bomb. This is like my favorite thing ever. Yeah. I pour this on everything. <laughs> the last 15 years for me have been this sauce on everything. So, so good. Well, that's all for today. If you like this recipe, check out the complete cookbook for teen chefs and like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm a little happy there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I can eat this whole thing.